All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Kevin Chikatan. and I'm back with another video. And on today, I'm going to be talking about the major scale. Let's see. For beginner guitars. It's a lesson that I think you will enjoy. It's fun. And it'll also help with your finger dexterity. <clears throat> so, this is how it'll go. You're going to place your finger on the sixth string, which is the low E string. And the open strings, well, I'm tuned in E flat, but the open strings and standard tuning is E, A, D, G, B, and E. And I come up with a little saying that can help you um, remember that. And it's eat at Denny's, get breakfast every day. Once again, eat at Denny's, get breakfast every day. E, A, D, G, B, E. That's all the strings on the guitar that's open but i'm tuned in e flat so my strings are e flat a flat d flat g flat b flat and e flat but into the lesson we're going to play the major scale so what we're going to do is we're going to place use your index finger we're going to go on the third fret on the sixth string gonna play that note then we're gonna skip a fret. We're gonna skip this one and go to the fifth fret. Then we're gonna skip another one. Skip that one. And go to the seventh fret. So, in other words, wherever you see the little dot at on your guitar. When you look on the top of your fretboard, that's where we're going to play the notes at. Skip. Skip. And I want you to start off using your index finger. Third fret. Fifth fret. Seventh fret. Now that's going to be the pattern. Even if we go down to the fifth fifth string. And then when we go to the fourth string, it's gonna be only two notes. It's gonna be the fourth fret and the fifth fret. So all together. And I want you to start off using the index finger. But now we're going to get into the dexterity so we can build up the strength in your fingers. So with that first note, we're still going to use the index finger. Then for the second note, we're going to use your middle finger. Then for the third note, we're going to use your pinky. So on the third fret, index finger. Fifth fret, middle finger. Seventh fret, pinky. Then we're going to move down to the fifth string and do the same thing with the same fingers. So all together. And then the last two notes on the fourth fret. Then instead of playing it with the middle finger for that next note, we're gonna slide it up. So this is what it uh, sound like all together. Mm -hmm. 
once again. And that's the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. If you never heard of that, that's a term that they use to describe the major scale. And then you know what? Once we get to this last note, which is the same as this, and you can refer back to the octave video that I posted the other day. I put it um, up where you can see it. So once we get back here to that octave, we just start all over again. And move down. So it's the same as this. So that's the same notes. Then we do the same thing down here. Okay, so this time we're gonna start on the fifth fret on the fourth string. Go down to the third string. Then we're going to go to the seventh fret on the second string. And then slide over. And then repeat the same process again. Start back from the sixth string. And that's a good finger exercise to get um, your fingers strengthened. scale now i wish i would have learned it like that when i first started playing but i learned it another way but when i found out about this way i felt that it was stretching my fingers and it like loosened my fingers up a, a good little bit where i can just stretch them out and it feels totally different mm -hmm. So practice that if you're new on guitar, stretch those fingers out and you can move this anywhere. You don't have to start exactly on the third fret. I just did it um, just in case um, you might want to try it there, but you can start up here. Let me do that again because I didn't slide my finger. a major scale lesson so make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video